Greetings friends, my long awaited Blood Angels commission is finally here. I've been waiting like, well about 10 months for this because my original commission uh, painter failed on me. So this is my new commission painter and this is like four different units. It's going to be a quick unboxing. I hope you enjoy it. Leave me a comment down below and if you want to check out Mike's uh, Twitch channel and also his painting there will be a link in the video description uh, Mike is an awesome guy he turned this around for me really quickly and to this precise specifications that I asked for so uh, stick around enjoy this unboxing and thanks for watching I'll catch you in the next one guys peace Okay, so this is my latest commission. I'm very excited to receive this. Uh, if the lighting is bad at any point in this video, it's very difficult to get to work uh, with my green screen. So, um, let's see how this goes. Uh, uh, I commissioned this stuff originally way back in May, but the original commission artist, uh, so this would have been May last year, so like 10 months of this commission. The original commission guy uh, had some family issues and pulled out. So it took me like, I guess like four or five months to get the stuff back from him. And then that's when I find Mike and his Paint It Red studio. And he's turned this all around for me, basically from scratch, because the original guy didn't really do much at all in like three months. So this is a really good time for how much I paid for the commission. I won't tell you what I paid or what not, because um, I don't know what Mike's going rate is. And uh, I think he did like a custom job for me. So if you want to commission Mike, all I can do is say, he came through in a very decent time, and um, I'm assuming that I'm going to like it. He's been sending me photos, keeping me up to date. So, cool. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a forgeable box. Exciting, huh? I think everything is in the forgeable box. Cool, let's get rid of this box then. Um, right, I assume everything is going to be crazily well packaged. Yes, Mike, you're a superstar. Look at this. Look at this. All right. Uh, how will we do this? Hopefully my camera straighten up a tiny bit. Right. Uh, oh, he's even he's even included some of the weapon options that I don't need. So there's a couple of flamers. I think they're off the Tarax drill, maybe. So, spoiler, there's going to be a Tarax drill. What is this first thing that we found? This is not the Tarax drill. This is a Vindicator Laser Destroyer. Yes. Indeedy. Now, I did ask Mike not to put transfers on this uh, purposely, and I also asked him not to varnish it because I will put transfers on it that match how I've done transfers on my other units, and I will also varnish it the same as I've done my other units as well because uh, I guess when you varnish them, the color does change a little bit. If you've got a good varnish, it can bring the color up or it can put it back down. But these are painted Evil Sun Scarlet, and um, these are very clean, and that's usually my style is clean, 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 clean. Um, He's painted every rivet here, Mike, you're a superstar. I don't know how well you can see all those rivets, but every single one is painted. Um, the tracks look good. Uh, the lasers are nicely done. Those things are a nightmare to paint. We've got the ramp on there as well, or the... I was going to say, it's the siege. It's like a siege shield. Uh, nice. This is going to match my army almost exactly. So very happy with that. That's number one. We'll put that back in the box. Cool. Uh... I guess I'll get some extra bubble wrap. Alright, next up, uh, we are looking at... I think this is going to be our Voidsman Arms. Uh, and these are actually going to be Tempest Scion models. Um, see if I can get it to focus nicely. There we go. So these are Tempest Scions with the barrels or the late... the the what they these are hotshot las guns normally, and they have wires that come out the las guns and go to the backpack. So we've cut the wires, uh, so they're just holding las guns. And um, there should be there's one with a las gun. Here is one with a shotgun. Uh, nice, pretty cool looking shotgun. Uh, I wanted also the, to keep the real theme of Blood Angels, so these guys really do look like blood angels even though they are supposed to be my tempest scions uh sorry they're supposed to be my points with arms so i've got three two with last guns and us and a shotgun we've got another two with last guns cool um 
I really like the, the, the gold and stuff on here. It's really, um, I think maybe I can pop this light on. It might mess with my green screen a little bit. Uh, but maybe that's easier to see. Uh, the gold edging is really nice. Uh, these are actually very small models. I believe these are 25mm bases. So uh, these guys fit in really easily on the deep strike. I guess I'll just show you the tank again with a bit more brightness on it. Um, yeah, overall it looks really nice. A uh, really crisp, clean paint job. I think I can just fire some transfers on these and be done with them. I will have to do barely any work on them whatsoever. And that's what I was looking for. Uh, so I have uh, another two with las guns. Uh, I've lost track of how many las guns that is. I think that's two, four, six las guns. Las gun number seven. I did two squads of these. Um, and then the last two guys are another guy with a smaller shotgun. This is a shotgun from Necromunda. I believe that's maybe a, a Palantine Enforcer shotgun. Could be, I think. Uh, and then lastly, we have the guy who has the rotary cannon. And this was a rotary cannon that we actually... Me and Mike talked about this one. We actually bought this from eBay. I think it's 3D printed. It might not be. Uh, I think we paid like four bucks for the rotary cannon on eBay. But he's done a really good job of getting the hands on here. They actually really look like they're the right hands for this. This is definitely not supplied with a Tempest Scion. And um, yeah, so I can run now my five Voidsmen. One with the shotgun, that would be the sergeant. One with the rotary cannon. And three with las guns. And I got, I got five... Sorry, I got a second shotgun and four more guys. So technically I could run two squads of Voidsmen arms if I wanted to. I don't think you can do that legally at the moment. Um... I guess that's an option for me now. Cool. What else we got? We have, and I've wanted one of these guys for a long while. This is an ironclad dreadnought. Uh, cool. He has come off his base, but um, I mean, he's been through the postal service. It looks like it's going to be very easy to just get some super glue and stick him back down. That's not going to be a problem at all. Okay, cool. Um, and he's done hazard stripes. Really nice hazard stripes, actually, on the drill. Uh, I wanted hazard stripes on the drill. I hate painting hazard stripes on the drill. I think he's used Avalanche Sunset, and honestly, it's a nightmare to paint hazard stripes with Avalanche Sunset. He has one arm that's changeable out. Uh, is this other arm? Oh, cool. Both arms are changeable. Okay, so I've got a bit of customization here. Um, I think it's best to run the, run the Ironclad with two claws right now, uh, or a drill and a claw, so that's what we've got. Stormbolt or underslung on one side. Um, Melta underslung on the other side, I guess with the current war gear options uh, it being free is absolutely fine. And then uh, we can finish that, we'll fix that base, that's not a problem at all. Um, if something didn't break when you transport it, uh, like across the country hundreds of miles, you'd be, I would have been, I would, something was gonna break. If it's just a guy, Dreadnought, come off his base, I could fix that in two seconds flat, so not a problem. And then, model number four, and this, like I said, this was a big commission. Uh, fairly big commission. Uh, he's put... He put a painted red sticker in, but he didn't stick it. Where's the sticker, Mike? Ah, I was going to show off your stream right now. Ah, where's the sticker? Did you stick it to the box? I didn't see it. You either just trolled me with a blank sticker. I actually think I've got one of your other stickers. Um, do you know what? If I don't find a sticker, I'll take a photo of my model case because I already have one of your stickers stuck to it and I'll overlay it on somewhere inside the video so people can see your uh, studio uh, and can commission you if they want to. And then the final thing is something that I've wanted one of for ages. This is a Forge World model, so it's a nightmare to make. I've never painted a, t a siege drill, but I have wanted one uh, for a very long time. So here is the Tarak siege drill. Wow, it's heavy as well. I mean, if you broke, if you drop this, it would break into a million pieces. That must be like some serious resin. Okay, um, and we've got, I think these are Volkites that are on it, and then I guess these five barrels here are the Meltas. I've never actually known, no, I never realised before where the five Meltas were on this thing, but it makes sense that they're at the front like that. I've never seen them painted a different colour, so uh, that's cool. That gives it a bit of um, variety. This thing can obviously, I think it can hold 12 Marines, correct? I could be wrong here. Um, and it's definitely going to be a, well, 
I mean, in my list right now, with uh, Rebooty Gilliman giving me plus two to most of my charges, the drill could come in from reserve. We could um, get plus two to charge, and the drill in close combat against enemy vehicles is D3 plus six, I think. Or maybe it's D or three plus D6. It's it's a, It can do nine damage per hit. As Blood Angels, you can get five hits on it. It has a weapon skill that doesn't degrade, so even on, like... Um, one wound left you get four you get your five attacks on uh weapon skill four up so i think the drill is a cool option for blood angels um and that's it that is my commission that i have waited on for damn here nine months ten months but mike only had it for three so uh highly recommend mike uh all the paintwork on this all the rivets is done everything is really clean this is exactly what I asked for, right? Like, I, you guys see my painting, it is very clean. We don't do millions of different colours, we don't do millions of edge highlighting. It's definitely a battle-ready scheme. This is what I asked for, this is what I quote, got quoted for. Um, I couldn't be more happy. Uh, next commission I do is going to be Boarding Actions Terrain, and it's going to be my mic as well, uh, because obviously when you have find a commission artist that you like, you know, Stick with them, is my opinion. Um, so uh, I'll stick with Mike. We'll get some boarding actions terrain. In the min meantime, I'll figure out where the hell I'm going to add these models to my uh, backlog. And yeah, I'll start figuring out what transfers I'm going to put on them. Probably not going to put any transfers on the uh, Voidsman. I don't think there's really any space to put transfers on the Voidsman. So I think they can just get sprayed with... Um, with some sort of varnish, like straight away, won't do anything with them. And then I think um, what we can do is we can look at uh, sorting out the rest of the commission um, transfers after that.